Well, hello and welcome to Rosalie's Kitchen. Hi guys, how is everybody today? You know I am the author of Rosalie's Servant Country and Rosalie's Servant Italian Cookbook. And I've got such a great recipe for you. You guys are going to just flip out. You know it's Christmas time and I'm going to make you the best Christmas cookie you could ever imagine. It's called Chocolate Covered Cherry Cookies. Oh, they're so delicious. Alright, we're going to get started. You need some real butter. Two sticks makes a cup. Okay, we're going to just put it right on in here. And with that, we're going to add a cup of sugar. And we're going to put it right here in our electric mixer. And we're going to go ahead and mix that so that it's nice and fluffy. Always like your mixer. Okay, here we go. And we're going to add an egg and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Alright, while that's going on, we're going to add our one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. There's one, and there's a half. Okay, next, looking real nice and fluffy, we're going to go ahead and add our egg, one egg. Wow, this looks really good. Okay, now we're going to give it just another little spin. Make sure it's just right. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and add our dry ingredients. This is so easy. Even your kids can make this. Okay, two and a fourth cups of flour right in this bowl. And then to that we're going to add a half a, half a cup of uh, unsweetened Hershey's cocoa. Right in there. And to that we're going to go ahead and add a fourth teaspoon of salt, a fourth teaspoon of baking soda, and a fourth teaspoon of baking powder. So did you get that cameraman? Come on in here a little bit more. Okay, so there's our dry ingredients. And now we're going to go ahead and just add these dry ingredients right over here to our, we're going to just lift this up, unlock it, lift it up, and add the dry ingredients. And then we're going to fluff it all up together. This recipe is very easy and it is very exact. If you use these uh, measurements, you're going to get a really nice dough every time. It's going to be just perfect. So let me reach over here and get all of that in there. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and flip this back down again. And let's see what we got. So it might spill out just a little bit because it's a little dusty at first. But it will come together just perfect. Okay, you can see that it is coming together right now. You'll watch that dough come together in just a minute. Okay, slowing down just a little bit on us. Okay, and there's your dough. And it's just perfect. Okay, we're going to lift up now. And we'll be back in just a second. Let's get this all in our bowl. We'll be back just a second and make our... Okay, and here's our dough. And look how that has just come together so nicely. And you can just form that right with your hand right now. It just comes together really, really good. Okay, so I'm going to make a few of these cookie dough balls right now. And um, then we'll come back and we'll put our cherries in, okay? All right, look how these go real nice, guys. We'll be back in a second. Be back. So here we are back, guys, and you just roll these little guys just like that. Now this step is where we're going. Okay, guys, so here's our next step. I've went ahead and rolled our little balls, our chocolate balls, and now we want to take and just put your index finger, or you can use uh, your thumb, and make a print right in each cookie. Then you're going to take a half of a maraschino cherry and place it right in the center so that you get your taste of the cherry, and it's going to be covered, of course, with our, our chocolate frosting. But right now, we're just going to go ahead and fill these. And as soon as we get all these filled, we're going to bake this at 350 degrees in our oven for 8 minutes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fill these, and then we'll be back to pop them in the oven. Oh, gosh, I can't wait to taste these. They're so good. Okay, guys, so here we are. Look at these beautiful cookies. And this recipe makes exactly 60 cookies. And you can see the maraschino cherries are all fixed. So now we're going to bake these for exactly 8 minutes at a 350 degree oven. And they are going to be great. Okay, so make sure your oven's preheated. 
We're just going to pop those right on in, just like so, and we're going to put our timer on for exactly eight minutes, because that's all it's going to take. Okay, so we've got our timer set for eight minutes. Now we're going to come and make our frosting. We need six ounces of sunny sweet chocolate chips, and we're going to go ahead and use a half a cup of condensed milk. Just put that right in there with it, and that is just about a half a cup of your condensed milk. Next, we're going to add about three to four teaspoons of our reserved maraschino cherry juice, and this will give our frosting the wonderful cherry uh, flavor that we want. So we're going to go ahead with four of those. And now we're going to pop this in the microwave very carefully for about 30 seconds to one minute. Be sure that you don't char these or they won't spread right. Okay, so we're going to pop these in the microwave and I'll be back. Well, here we are guys and look at this wonderful frosting. This was only 30 seconds in the microwave and that's how you want the consistency. You don't want this to be um, overcooked or it will be real sticky and it won't go on your cookie. So you want to just put a little bit right like that while it's warm, right over your cherry with the cookie. And uh, this is going to just, war it's the warm cookie is going to just take your frosting and melt it right into the cherry and the top of the cookie. So you're going to get a wonderful taste, almost as if it was like a maraschino covered uh, cherry that you get at Christmas time. So there they are, and they're so pretty and wonderful. And they will dry very nicely in about 30 minutes, if you can wait that long, and if everybody else can wait that long. My family would have these eaten in about five minutes. All right, so there they are. They're beautiful. Let's go ahead and just give them a little touch of the powdered sugar. And you can just place those right over on your Christmas pretty platter right over here. There they are, chocolate-covered cherry cookies. Really, really a wonderful treat for Christmas or any time of the year if you get hungry for a chocolate cookie because when they bite into that, they're going to bite into that chocolate covered cherry. All right, God bless all of you. Thank you so much for coming to my kitchen today, and I can't wait to come back. You're going to love these cookies. Merry Christmas.